Oh yes, hello our wonderful viewers. As always, it's me, Abuna Thamatofu, here at Kisa Projects. Today I'm here to present to you a last session with one of our clients, all the way from Bosheng, who came here, purchased our Kepa Supportation Kit, and today we are having our last training with her. However, before I open up the session to you, let me introduce to you our new contact. Yeah, I've been getting several concerns from you people that usually our phone is always busy when you try to reach out to us, so we decided to add another contact on our official contact. So when you feel like you are giving us a call on our previous contacts and it is taking us long to pick you, you can as well alternatively give us a call on this contact. Plus 256-706-5353. Eight eight two, plus two five six, seven zero six, fifty fifty fifty, eight eight two. It's also now an official contact for Kisa projects. Briefly, let me take you through the process of manufacturing soap. As always, I state to you that the process for manufacturing soap is called saponification. However, I have two types of saponification. There's the one-step saponification and the two-step saponification. When you purchase the K-Pads operation kit here at Kisa Projects, we manufacture soap with you through the one-step saponification. And we manufacture grade one soap or pure soap. However, if at all it is in your view for us to manufacture with you grade two or what you call built stroke field ground river soap, still we can do that for you. The process of manufacturing soap is called saponification. What am I meaning with saponification? Saponification generally refers to the hydrolysis of a trigoceride. Now, when I speak of trigoceride, I'm meaning lipids. Oh, in simple terms, trigoside and nonpolar lipid molecules, composed of glycerol molecules associated with the free fatty acid molecules. And these are the saturated fatty acid molecules, the mono unsaturated fatty acid molecules and the poly unsaturated fatty acid molecules. So that defines trigosides. So this means that for me to come up with a quality bar of soap, I have to find trigosides that have those feedy fatty acid molecules. It is those feedy fatty acid molecules that will contribute to the five qualities of a good bar of soap. And these are hardness, cleansing, conditioning, bubble lather, and creamy lather. However, the process I have to undergo through for, um, for me to come up with a complete sort of fatty acids is what I termed as saponification, the hydrolysis of a triglyceride. Now the question can be, what do you mean by the term hydrolysis? This is the chemical breakdown of a compound due to reaction with water. Most people outside there are manufacturing soap on small scale of production. They are just cramming or they are just gambling in production. They just know that you have to get lye and you make lye in fats and you come up with a soap. Don't you question yourself that, why is it that all the results you have to come up with when you try to gamble in soap production at your home are always fake? It's just because you need to get thorough training from us, the KISA projects. Since 2016, we have been serving you people. And many people have become successful through us. We are always open for business Monday to Saturday 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Through the one-step saponification, we get triglycerides and we treat them with a strong base. So the end result will be glycerol with a salt of fatty acids. A salt of fatty acid is a soap, a sodium salt. Remember, we have two types of salt. We have the sodium salts and the potassium salts. The sodium salts are always the solid soaps or the powdered soaps. And such soaps are manufactured using sodium hydroxide as our strong alkaline <laughs> substance. On the other hand, if you are targeting to manufacture liquid soaps, we shall in turn use potassium hydroxide. Are you interested in seeing how soap manufactured through the Kisa Project training looks? This video is up for you. Keep your eyes on the screen. I remain your bonus and Matovu here at Kisa Projects. Our new contact for you to call is plus two five six 
706-3333882. And our previous contacts are plus 256-7524-19194 or plus 256-7795-93452 or plus 256-702-756107. All those contacts are available on WhatsApp. The soap you are going to manufacture today is going to be branded Negev. Keep your eyes on the screen and just watch it until the final steps. Thank you. A word of wisdom to those who love KISA projects. In a few recent years, I've managed to remain standing in business. I have managed to map out a few common causes of business failure to many young entrepreneurs. Failure won't be at the front of many business owners' minds when they launch a company. However, with 7 in 10 Ugandan businesses struggling to make it past 5 years, it is always worth keeping an eye on the warning signs. As we are watching this video, I, Nathan Matov of the Mighty Kisa Projects, I will be discussing with you the major bad practices to avoid if you wish to give your business a fighting chance of success. To begin with, fight poor cash flow management. You may be sick of being told cash is the king, but it doesn't change the fact that poor cash flow management can lead to the demise of any business. Indeed, even a profitable business can fall victim to a creeping cash flow crisis, which is often caused by the ineffective management of debaters high stock levels, bad debts, and late invoicing. Inadequate financing or selecting the wrong type of funding for your business can also put it on the path to failure. Without access to sufficient growth capital, whether in the form of personal savings, private equity, or debt finance, your business may not have the fuel it needs to grow. Secondly, fight losing control of your finances. Any business owner needs to be aware of their financials and cash position at any given time. The accurate forecasting of income and cost may lead to a few surprises, but it will ultimately help support your cash flow. Business owners should also understand and control their costs, acknowledging risks and opportunities which should help minimize any nasty surprises. When I come to the third reason as to why many businesses of Ugandan young entrepreneurs keep on failing at their initial stages. The third reason will be bad planning and a lack of strategy. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Cheesy, but this is very true. Quite simply, long-term planning is key to the success of any business. When mapping out the growth of their business, a business owner needs to conduct market research to establish who their customers are and what they need. They also need to recognize their competitors and be proactive regarding trends to avoid getting left behind. Banai, we are here training you how to be outstanding entrepreneurs to make Uganda a better place to stay in tomorrow. Okay, let us come to the second last reason, and that will be weak. Leadership. Chemanya basinga mwena mwujulida. Obufuzi obufu obuchamu wono nevi intu. The same thing will apply in business. Weak leadership will destroy the success of your business. A good leader recognizes the skills they lack or the jobs they do not have time for. And either employees, outsources, or six professional advice to fill those gaps. They will also communicate direct reward and offer the opportunity for personal growth to their employees, creating a happy, effective, and royal team. Finally, come up with our beautiful product, Negev Soap. Negev Beauty Product is a company already in existence, owned by Madame Charlotte, one of the proud clients here at Kisa Projects with the Capital Production Kit. So through Hacky training of money to come up with this product. So we call upon all those people from the West, Western region to start with by the entire Ugandan community at large to come and buy this 
product. It's grade one soap. Poor leadership, on the other hand, leads to demotivated and ineffective team, which can easily cripple a business. In Fuga MB, again, created a colony team. It is a guy, it is a miser, a murimugo. It is a creator, business you, or Kolemala, or Gamba Wama, or Kuda, a Mabega. It is a one double nap and any business, Bambi. Mwere, Bafuzi, Balunch, Abama Tuare, Gamwe. Lastly, over H. Sembio, over dependence on a few big customers. Virtually, I think of a customer Abaton. Abu Abakulator of Rose and Beba Beba Imiliza of Business Yo. An over dependence on a few big customers could easily lead to the business failure if one of them suddenly pulls out. Both cash flow and profit will ultimately be hit. The temptation could then be to offer discounts to that customer. However, this will only lead to poor margins over the long term. Minimize your risk by increasing your customer base, diversifying your product portfolio, and encouraging your customers to sign contracts with a reasonable notice period. You are indeed lucky to be here. Start small, dream big. Welcome to Kisa Projects, a home for entrepreneurs. Thank you for following Kisa Projects. We love you.